What's up guys, I'm Big John and welcome back to Go Ham Disc Golf. I'm out here at my favorite course, it's Saturday morning, it's a beautiful day, it's a great day for playing. Uh, today's video, um, actually one of today's videos, this one, <laughs> is, uh, is actually a response to a question left on uh, as a comment on one of my videos, and actually the last video. Uh, my last video was how to throw an Anheuser throw, or some, some beginner tips on how to do it. And the question was, what are three good discs, or what are the best three discs for mid-range Anheusers and driving Anheusers? Now, that's kind of a loaded question, because as with a lot of things, there's really no best disc for it. There's no best choice. Any disc in the world can be thrown as an Anheuser. It's just how well it holds the line you put it on, or if it does what you're looking for it to do how much it rides the curve or how much it fights back and ends straight or ends hard or comes in um, but what I'll do is I'll you guys know that I throw a Buzz SS as my pretty much go-to Anheuser throw and while a Buzz SS is a great mid-range Anheuser I use it for a lot of my drives too I really haven't found a driver that works best for me as an Anheuser drive disc now there are a couple other discs that I keep in my bag that I do throw Anheuser's with and I'll show you those real quick. The first one is a flick. Now I know what you're saying, but Big John, last video you said I shouldn't be throwing flicks as an Anheuser. You said it's going to fight it back too hard. But that's the thing. If I need a really hard cutting S-curve Anheuser, this is my go-to guy right here. I know how it's going to end. If I give it a hard Anheuser, it's going to come back so hard that if that's where the pin is, if that's where my hole is, it's the perfect disc. A buzz won't do that. All right, if I throw a flick and I throw it Anheuser, it's going to come like that and then it's going to cut hard. Now, if I throw my buzz on the exact same line with the exact same power, it's going to give me a really nice curve and maybe fade a little bit at the end, but not enough that's even really noticeable. So my flick, if I have to, if I've got to get around a hard right turn, but then end up left and a good left, my flick is the one I go to. Next up is my glide. Now, a glide is kind of like in between a mid-range and a driver, but a lot more of a mid-range, and it's more understable than a buzz is. So when I throw this as an Anheuser, I'm not expecting it to come back to the left at all. I'm expecting it to ride the line as far as possible without fighting at all. And probably nine out of 10 times, that's what it, what it ends up doing. If I'm trying to get around a hard right turn, and pretty much finish out right, this guy will do it. If I'm trying to get around a long right turn that just stays right all the way to the hole, this guy will do that too. And my last disc that I'll talk about is, and I'm sorry guys, I know I carry a lot of disc craft, but it's not all I throw. It, I don't think that it's the best out there. It just happens to be what I'm throwing right now. Um, but it's a disc craft soft magnet. And this is my go-to putter. Um, for most of my putts, this is what I use. I have a couple other putters in my bag that, you know, I use for like uh, overstable putting, understable putting, up shots, that kind of stuff. But on just your average run of the mill, not very windy putt, my soft magnet is where I go. But I do throw this for Anheuser's. And I throw this when I want my disc to fight back just enough to finish straight. And what I mean by that is there's a couple holes at the courses I play around where it's a very hard right turn straight off the tee and probably it's only probably about 40 feet out that it cuts hard to the right and it's probably not a 90 degree angle but like you know a little bit not as bad as 90 degree angle and it goes straight from there so what I need this to do is stay low to the ground hold that line and then as soon as it gets around that corner flatten out and then glide out now I know you get, some of you guys might be saying, but Big John, that's a, that's a putter. You shouldn't be driving with a putter. All right, talk to a lot of guys out there. There are a lot of people that drive with putters. And there are some people out there that have some great luck with it. Um, they're actually very skilled at driving with putters. Putters can do some things that drivers can't. Um, you can always make the argument that a driver will always go farther than a putter. And in most cases, that's true. But a lot of times, you can control a putter a lot more than a driver. So don't count that out try it out grab your putter and drive with it a few times you might be surprised at what it can do now as far as other discs that I would recommend for Anheuser's um, I'd say Leopard's are really good for Anheuser's um, Rocks are also a good disc Roadrunners 
Stingrays, Comet, Cyclone, Avenger SS, Stratus, Squall, Makos. I know a guy that throws um, ions, um, the MVP putter. He throws ions as an Anheuser with a lot, with a lot of luck. He, he does that really well. I mean, just about any disc. Like I said, any disc you, you can throw as an Anheuser. The best disc to throw is the one that you're the most comfortable with, the one that feels perfect in your hand, and the one that you know is what's going to do. So my advice to someone who is just learning how to throw Anheusers and wants to get really good at it is to pick up a mid-range. Go get a Rock or a Buzz or a Buzz SS and just start doing it. Go out to a field and throw it a few times. Try and get around something and you'll learn it. Keep it low to the ground unless you're going for something like a, a very high Anheuser to get right around something. But when you first learn it out, don't go for power. Let that disc do its work for you, like I've said before. But just go out there. Play around with it. Have fun with it. I guarantee you will learn something. But don't just take my word on it. Look it up a little bit. See what else you can try with Anheuser's. It's not a very hard shot. Um, a lot of people have trouble with it because it goes against your natural way of throwing. It goes against the natural way of the disc wanting where the disc wants to go. But once you start to figure it out, it's just, it, it just flows into place from there. And that's it for this video. I have another one coming up today. Um, I'm just realizing how dark I am right here. I'm missing the sun by like two inches. So, uh, story of my life. Wish I had two more inches. Ha ha. But uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Wait! Don't shut off the video yet. There's a giveaway. Tell us about the giveaway. All right. Deadline to enter the video, the giveaway for the D Discraft Nuke SS is uh, it's going to be Tuesday at noon. Now I, I'm doing it Tuesday at noon because I want to give a couple days to the person who wins so they can get me their information because I'm going to be ordering these discs or the discs I'm giving away on Thursday. So uh, that's why I'm ending it there. So if you're not entered into that um, giveaway. You have until this Tuesday coming up to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on the video telling me what disc you want me to review next. Now as far as the comments that are already there, you guys have given me some great ideas, some great comments, a lot of good support, which I, I really appreciate. Any likes or favorites or comments on the videos, I really do appreciate it. It just makes me want to keep on doing these videos. But uh, I'm getting a lot of good ideas from you guys. I'm seeing what people want me, want me to review. and the same time that I order the the disc that I'm giving away, I'm going to be ordering a couple discs, maybe one, maybe two, that I'm going to be do, doing a review on soon. And like I said before, anything I do a review on, I'll be giving away. So make sure you get yourself in there. If you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. If uh, you're not, if you haven't left a comment yet, because a few people subscribed and not left comments, go ahead, leave a comment. Uh, you might end up winning a disc out of it. And uh. What I'm going to say is that if you, if I decide to do a review on a disc that you suggested, and that doesn't mean that you're going to win. That just means that you had a great idea or I agreed with what you wanted to say or it's a disc that I've been wanting to try out or it's a disc that I think people will enjoy a review on or that will be helpful. The winner, um, I'm just going to put everybody's name on a piece of paper and put it in a hat and pick out a piece of paper and that's going to be the winner. It's going to be completely random. Has nothing to do with what disc I pick out to review next. Um, now the disc that I'm giving away is going to be the la the only disc, that, the first disc that I'm giving away in September, but it's the end of September. But I'm going to be giving away at least two in October. At least two. I'm going to try for three or four. Um, so get over there get that done if you don't win this time don't even sweat it there's gonna be plenty of more giveaways so subscribe like share favorite go ham